Well, what was supposed to be an eight day mission has now lasted a month and a half for two astronauts. NASA and Boeing still working to make the return trip from the ISS sa as safe as possible before giving them the green light. Fox's Dana Marie McNichol reports from West Palm Beach. NASA has said those astronauts are not stranded and can use Starliner in case of an emergency, even using SpaceX as backup if necessary. Right now, the plan is to keep them on the International Space Station until those issues are worked out. I'm very confident we have a, uh, a good vehicle to bring the crew back with. Uh, we have to take the next steps to show that information to everybody else, uh, and that leads up to the agency review, and that's what we're going to do over the next week. Right now, engineers are looking into what caused five of the spacecraft's thrusters to fail as it approached the International Space Station on June 6th, a day after liftoff. The team is also studying small helium leaks. Both problems are located on the service module, a portion of the spacecraft used during the return flight. So NASA and Boeing want to study the issues while Starliner is still in space. We don't have a major announcement today relative to, uh, to a return date. Uh, we're making great progress, but we're just not quite ready to do that. NASA and Boeing officials say that Sonny and Butch are enjoying their extra time in space, even being able to conduct some interesting experiments and helping out with tours on the International Space Station. In West Palm Beach, I'm Data Marie McNichol, Fox News.